two super dudes who want to share their knowledge of pop culture and the art of bullshit. The Open Mic Show with Steve Starr and Cash West. Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of the Open Mic Show. I am Cash West. I am Steve motherfucking Saw. See, I was debating if I was going to say Cash motherfucking West, and that's why I hesitated. And you took it. So, good on you. Good on you, man. Oh, well, I mean, if you look in certain members of certain chats that we are both involved in, that's how I'm saved in some people's phones. That smells like cat piss. <laughs> There, well, did you I'm know there's done. a strain called cat piss? I'm done. So you have games like this too, by the way. Awesome. Did you know that though? Yes. There's a strain called cat piss. I want to try it. But yeah, okay. Yeah, we got some things we're talking about tonight. This is mainly an update episode for people who are new, uh, for long-time listeners who are just not sure what's going on with us right now. Because we don't really know what's going no, on. No, no, no. <laughs> we're taking, we're actually, I've, I may, I've got a connection that's helping me out, um, with a few things shout out to him he knows who he is because we just talked about how we're going to reach more people um memes memes is a big thing we already found out from the group that some people are there just for memes we already found out through another meme group that's how we gain some followers so memes tabletop gaming and gaming in general is seems to be the biggest thing because our generation is really you know, Regressed. we've, we've came, well, no, we've came up the whole time we've been alive. It's been basically computer, the age and yeah. rise of computers and video games. Yep. And we're, we've been at the helm of that. So why not gear it towards gaming and still reconnect with a younger crowd? Because gaming reaches everybody. It doesn't matter if you're 60, 70, 80 years old, you know, to, to two. And may, and so, but here's the thing. The open mic show itself is going to remain the open mic show. Yeah. It is the open platform that we discuss literally whatever the fuck we want to talk about. Right. There's no changing that. However, we also <laughs> now have that nerd zone set up. Nerd zone is within itself a sectioning of us. But it's more geared towards gaming. But that is the gaming side of us. Right. So that is, all right, I'm logged into Facebook. That way I can start sharing some things. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, you should, didn't you show me that the other day? Yeah, I've shown you that once or twice. I think that we should play that, though. So there, let's talk about a few games that we're wanting well, to play. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's do this in the order that you wanted to talk about. Did you want to do that first? Or yeah. was there other stuff? Because you kind of, oh, like, there's going to be a bunch of different You kind of updated a little bit. Well, I'll get into the update. Uh, a little bit more in depth. Um, yeah, he's saying we have potential for a huge audience with this. But yeah, we're going to talk about some tabletop games that we're going to be uh, doing here soon. Wednesday, um, we're recording this now Monday, uh, the 9th of December. Um, Wednesday, the 11th of December, we'll have our next D&D game. Yes. It's so um, been three weeks. It had, no, it's been two. This will be yeah. the, this will be week three if we weren't playing, but we found a medium where everybody could play and we are so with that being said um do you remember what happened the last time we were in that battle um everybody was doing fairly good except for brando who was dead um he <laughs> so does he have to roll another character i don't know i don't think he's gonna have to roll another character he might survive because the the place we're at might have magical properties i'm not writing the story um that's a greg thing that's his decision. If he makes him roll another character, I am so going to laugh. Um, but I want him to, uh, like, he, if he does have to re-roll a character, he needs to be Funky Monkey's cousin, like Cheeky Monkey. <laughs> okay, so keep it in line with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to see that. Um, but that's entirely on the Brando situation. And it all depends on, I guess, how we come out from that. Um, so look to Greg for answers on that. As far as... I want, I'm want, i interested in getting that. In this? Mm-hmm. It's like 
$23. So Funkoverse, uh, Batman edition. There's uh, also this game. one. What edition is this? Harry Potter? Yep. So they have a Harry Potter. Uh, yep. That's the one that we've seen on another um, hold uh, on. YouTuber's channel. Yes, they have this <gasps> one. That's the one we should play. Um, that we'll one is both, actually we'll two get, players. We'll get the Batman and the Rick and Morty. That one is designed for two players, but if we get Batman, do we get the four pack? Or do we get that one? Catwoman and Robin. That's a two player as well. Yep. That's not as fun to me though. But those are those are expansions as well, so you could actually take Catwoman and Robin and their abilities into this one here. Yeah. So it's it makes the game a little more interactive as time goes on. That I would I would take that Batman out of his box and play with you. Really? Not not the teal. The the superheroes. Because look, I feel like it's the same Batman almost. Yeah, I put no, that no. Batman. I put that Batman in that box. For the time being. No, it looks exactly the same, dude. It's just a smaller version of it. Uh, no, the mask is different. That's the mask the, is different, okay. and uh, they're different coloring. Oh, the bat symbol is different too. This has got the classic, like the '89. This has more like the Affleck, the modern. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for those, it's the yeah, Funko the, Burst strategy the game rounded. that we're talking about. But hang on. Because there's other ones that they have. Oh, can we play this one? I'll let you be that one, Betty. Yeah, I'll let you be Betty White. I'd be, I'd be Blanche. Is that two player? Yeah. Oh. Why do they make them two player? They make them as expansions. You can actually play four player on the board, but it's an easier way. It's like a whole nother. It's like DLC. Like, you know, oh, we're going to give you two extra skins and another level. Jesus. So much extra shit. Well, there's two games we do have in hand, in house. One of them is called Boss Monster, and it is the dungeon building card game. And it's for two to four players, made by Brotherwise Game. It's inspired by retro uh, retro gaming like Mario from the Nintendo series. Um, the old school Mario, not the ones you kids know. So... It's based off that. It's like eight bit, you know, um, Excuse me, sorry, guys. Eight bit uh, cards and such. Uh, here, let me look at the back. Uh, we'll have a, we'll have a picture of this up in the group and on the page. Uh, Boss Monster, inspired by classic video games. Boss Monster, trademarked, challenges you to become a villain, build a dungeon, learn adventures, and destroy them. So here's the thing. Actually, for those of you that don't already follow it, go holler at Nerd Zone. Go get in the group. We will have a poll up. Nerd Zone Gaming. Yeah, we changed the name. Uh, it, it's Nerd Zone, man. I know, but there's a couple other Nerd Zones that are like pages that pop up. So okay, well, Nerd Zone Gaming, you'll know it. It's literally a page by the Open Mic Show, I do believe. Or a page by Cash West. Yep. Or yeah. a page by the boss man, Jesse Radford. <laughs> but anyways, bastard. Um, I hear he got a good Christmas present today. Anyways. He's a douchebag. <laughs> so uh are throwing out there go there we're gonna put a poll up and you tell us which of these two games you want to see us record oh, and, yeah of okay. these two which one you want to see first it will be episodic for the house of danger most likely because i do believe it comes in like chapter here let me see it real quick yeah tell me about that one i quick. do believe it comes in like chapters um, you could play it solo or you could play it with a group. I think I'm, we'll play it group wise. Um, I did a test run with somebody at one point with, uh, Zuzu, in fact, at one point. Yeah. They're but... big cards. Yeah. Well, they come in chapters and they're like book pages. Dude. Oh, okay. I got you. So this could be actually episodic. Right. We just have to write everything down where we're at. Um, and then we do like, a re- on Fridays, we do this show with this one night. We do our yeah, D&D we can, show one night. And then schedule. on like Fridays, we do like a recap of both games. Like, hey, this is what happened this week on Pesky, or this week in Nerd Zone. House of Danger. Yeah, the House of Danger episode. Wow, yeah, that's a good idea. And then we can have the people that either actually watch them or listen to them go ahead and call us in. Do like a Talking Dead, Talking Saul, Talking... Talking Peckers, I don't fucking know. A and E, A and M C seems to have a fucking show for a talking show for everything they've got. Yeah, so we've been streaming Magic, we've been streaming Fortnite. We're gonna have these two up in the uh, group and on the page, so you can see a picture of it. 
we're gonna we'll actually uh, we'll video record those. Um, all the tabletop gaming episodes are recorded on video. Uh, what you doing? That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, um, I made a comment about that about somebody la- laughing at their own something. Or when own I, when that in the like that. Uh, it was in the group chat though. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, it's the same thing. So he has another uh, <coughs> video pulled up here. <coughs> Or, I'm sorry, game pulled up. I've got a few Pandemic games. Legacy is uh, another. Yeah. Um, we're going to look into some. We don't know. We're just we're just checking some out. Uh, I, dude, I, there's a bunch. Who Cthulhu. Yep, there is. Oh, that seems that's by the makers of Pandemic, so that would be an interesting looking game. Is that four player or two player? Um, That is probably multiple players. Um, I'd be down for that one. That's only, that's 40 bucks. Yeah. Dude, a lot of the games like this only cost you about thirty. We're gonna try bucks. to uh, stream Rock Band soon as well. There you go. Here's I will. St- I already stream. Watch for our streams on Twitch. We're gonna start sharing that link. That is where ninety percent of our main live stuff is gonna start going. Um, we're gonna try and get that and Facebook in the group. Well, yeah, I can do it at the same time now. If it'll let you, maybe, maybe. Well, OBS. Once I get my capture card, is what I mean. Oh, well, we'll see what happens there. What you looking at? Magic Arena? Yep. Yeah, so we've been streaming some Magic Arena. Um, I've gotten to actually learn how to play the game pretty decent by this point. Just don't have enough good cards to play anybody major. No, see, but here's the thing. You can play with those pre-con decks, man. It's not going to kill you. I want to get this and play it. It's yeah. It's I am playing with. It. I'm working my way up. It is a pretty penny to get it and play it, but this goes across thirteen episodes, um, and each session takes about thirty to forty minutes to play it. So it's like playing D and D, but it's a board. It's a fucking board game right. that you build as you play, and then with these books here, and then and other locations throughout here. There's other little random things that you have to do, and like you literally change the rules of the game as you play it. But it's one time play. That's why it's that much money when you can get like 13, 14 hours of play out of it. But we will probably play this game. Uh, Betrayal Legacy is a big one. I'm yep. down to play it. So I, you know, it's just all about learning the rules, you know, and making sure we have a good referee outside to watch. To make sure we well, no, it's job. not even having a ref. You just get the four players in, and you make sure that everybody's. Yeah, but I think somebody watching outside that doesn't want to play. But it's a co- okay. So that's the thing about a lot of adult board games is they're not. It's, it's not, not you against somebody. Co-op. It's ev- yeah, everything's co-op. So everybody's working towards the goal. Usually until a certain point of the game, and then it's like everybody versus one person. That one sounds like somebody's betraying somebody. But yeah, well, that's what it ends up being. It's like <laughs> three on one in the end. Yeah. But that's the way the rules play. And the rules also play to the advantage of whoever the person on the, by themselves is. If you sat and watched, because I sent you the videos, mm. um, if you actually sat and watched that, you would see that it's not all that weird. It's straight up. Uh, it's pretty by the rules that there's no questionable about it. Right. And if there is, it's like right there handy to see. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep the show uh pretty much through Facebook we're gonna promote it. Uh if you guys we've had the services up for a while. I think it's five bucks to promote your business for thirty minutes or longer. Um if you want to do just a quick record promo that we play here and there uh as an I guess an insert into it or an ad, um we could do that. Uh just I think it was two dollars on the side. I don't remember. But we need everybody to book us through Facebook no matter who it is. If it's a call in on Skype Go on Facebook at the Open Mic Show Podcast and book the appointment. Well, anybody that heard that hours. Hank Snow one knows. Yeah, so Hank Snow came on. Uh, he promoted his little, it was an eight-minute promo. Uh, we could do that, and we just play it as its own episode. We can insert if it's shorter. Like I said, um, just book it on the Facebook. We'll have our website up soon. I'm building that through Wix. It's going to have a generic uh, URL until we pay for one. Um, so we're... We're looking to get that finished here soon. I'll probably go work on that after the show. Uh, but we got a we got a bunch of this, a different stuff coming, and as we have more time to do this, you know, especially when my, I go back to classes in January, 
a lot of my time is going to be homework and then show related ideas. So, uh, there's a lot coming from it. And slowly upgrading equipment as well. So that gives the benefits to do better things. We need to get next. I'm buying cameras next. Cause we're going to do, we're going to, there's some ideas I have in my head for skits and, and better recording ideas and everything else. So you no, I'm not that. saying we can't use those. We need to get, we need to get one of them holders for that. And whenever your phone camera would be good too. So we just need to start utilizing the, that stuff your has yours has is yours an S nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yeah. It has some pretty good camera stuff. I mean, I remember when that came out, people were, that's the rave about the newer phones was the cameras. So we'll, we'll have some stuff going here soon. We just need taking the time to edit the videos. That takes a lot. Um, so it's just time when we don't have a lot of people on the team at the moment. Until we start getting bigger than people will want to join. That's how it goes. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come on tonight and talk about any content. It's just an update. Well, uh, yeah, I thought you were going to talk about some other stuff. I don't know. Should we talk about it? Yeah, go for it. I mean, shit, we're at 16 minutes. Might well, as well take it up. You have though. to take that up, though, right there. What? That thing I'm pointing at, the red button at the very top. That button? Click it. So this button right here? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um, all right, so let's talk about Juice World. We all know he passed recently. Um it's sad to see a lot of these young artists, especially in the rap game, lose their life so young, like Mac Miller and and Juice World and XXX to violence and, and all kinds of shit. Um, but I heard a rumor today, and well, yeah, I don't know how much validity it has, but sources say that Juice World supposedly swallowed a few, I don't know how many, damn it, Percocets. Causing this seizure, but the toxicology report was are not finished yet. Uh, the they just released the first note saying they they conducted everything to see how this death happened, and they won't release it as they find out. But they don't know for sure yet. They're waiting for the results. But sources say he swallowed a bunch of Percocet. I don't know if it was in a package or just whatever uh, before he landed at the airport, so he wouldn't get busted with them. But now here's some other news coming out. What else you got? Two of his security guards were arrested on gun charges at the airport an hour before he started having a seizure. Oh, wow. What happened here? I think magic just popped up. Yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that in a minute. Um, so, yeah, a couple of news outlets confirmed that Christopher Long, uh, 36, of Buna Park, California was arrested at 2 a.m. carrying and possessing a firearm in the first degree uh, misdemeanor. Second, Juice World's guards uh, arrested Henry D. 27 of Chicago, charged one misdemeanor count of carrying a concealed firearm in an airport and a second misdemeanor count of sale and a possession of a high-capacity magazine and metal-piercing bullets. And then he was reported dead at 3.14 a.m. Chicago to Los Angeles. Los Angeles to Chicago I'm sorry and probably got some shit out there and yeah so rest in peace to him but it sounds crazy these kids dying off these drugs it's not cool stay off the pills stay off the dope it it feels good and and you think it makes you look cool but it's just going to end up putting you in an early grave that's how I feel about it fuck that Smoke weed, man. What's wrong with weed? It's just comfy. I'm just saying. Nobody fucking... It is what it is, you know? Make you want to check off the great plate. Mm. Weed makes you want to do that? No. (laughs) Nothing makes me want to do that. That would be painful. And you mean juice lube. Alright. Um... Let me finish this out. Uh... He was posting a lot on Instagram. I was trying to look at a lot of... Yeah, they're saying that the autopsy was completed today, waiting on the results. Pretty sad. All right. Uh, In other news, Tech 9 independent rapper. Do you like Tech 9 Do you know Tech 9 
I I know of Tech Nine. Tech Nine's the shit. I know of Tech Nine. He's dope. So Tech Nine is out here. Uh, if you guys don't know who Tech Nine is, go check him out. It's T E C H space N, the number nine N E, Tech Nine. He's a, been a rapper forever. He's independent. He's not with no label. He does his own thing. He's made all his money himself. Self promotion, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Tech Nine's out here out in the neighborhood. I hope he didn't put the guy to do in this picture because he looks like he's unaware that he's getting a picture taken of him. But he's got a cart full of toys, and. It says the homie Tech Nine out here helping others without needing to publicize it. He's got I gotta love the humbleness of this guy. But anyway, he's got a t- cart full of toys, so it looks like he's going to help people less fortunate than him this holiday, which is great. I love to see that stuff, especially from people like Tech Nine who, you know, put back into the communities uh, instead of adding to the destruction of them. I guess you know what I mean. There's there's too many rappers out here that glorify bringing down of their community instead of building it up. So good on him. I'm happy to see that. Um, I wish more people would do that. So thanks to tech nine. I could hear the bell. I don't like that bell. Fuck that bell. I hate that bell. Now I remember where we got rid of that bell. Fuck that bell. Whatever dude. Gaming news. (laughs) Beep, beep. Oh, what? <laughs> I punched you. Oh, gaming news. Bioshock. Officially in development, but it's not going to be done for a few years. So, when's the last time they had a Bioshock game? That was... It's been a few years. Uh, I can't remember. But I guess the was. creator's actually not going to be involved in it, from what I was reading. What? Why would you not be involved in it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Uh, in development at Cloud Chamber. I don't Chamber. know if that's 100% either, so... Yeah. Um, it's a newly founded development studio based in San Fran and Montreal. It hasn't been titled yet. They don't have a release date or what it's coming out on, but they know it is in the works. So, Bioshock, if you're a Bioshock fan, I, I love that game. I liked it, dude. I don't know. I'm different, though. I I seem to like not like games that people fall in love with. And I just, I don't know. I tried it. I tried the demo of it. I played through the first part of it, and I just, it, I, it did nothing for me, man. I think the one I played was on Xbox 360. Um, I liked it. And this, come on, go down. What are we doing here? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, there we go. All right, so, um, yeah, you're right. Bioshock creator Ken Levine not involved with the new game. Oh, woo. Accuracy on my info. That's how you do it. All right. So uh, Oculus Quest has an update. If any of you play Oculus Quest, uh, it has added hand tracking. Uh, Just going to browse over that real quick. Just wanted to let you know. Um, Yeah. So I don't have any new news on PS5 either. Have you heard anything new? On what? PS5. Nope. They're really starting to bug me with this. All right. So, um... Did you know they were doing a Matrix sequel? Yeah, they've been working on that for a while. Why didn't you tell me this? I've told you that. You just don't listen to me, the Cash Westerson. When? Cash Casterson. All right. <sighs> Donkey! All right, there's four free games in December. Did you know that? <laughs> no. I thought there was only two. No, what are they? Ah, this is Xbox. Uh-uh, uh How dare you get me hoped up? Okay, well, still, for those of us, those listeners that are play Xbox, what are they? I'm, I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, because I we mean, don't play, play fair. Xbox over here. Sorry. Um, Minecraft's going cross-platform oh, with the next yeah. update. Minecraft. Um, that's supposed to be tomorrow. So, so it's going to be cross-play tomorrow. Uh, probably, like, Wednesday or Thursday is when it'll hit cross-play. Um, Who do we know? You have it on PlayStation. I have it on PS4. You have it on PS4. I have it on PS4. Odin has it on PS4. Ready to Bang has it on Zuzu. (laughs) A.K.A. Zuzu has it on Xbox. Okay, so that works. Crossplay. My son has it on Switch. How many people can you have in a, a thing? In a room? A lot? I think like 16. 
Okay. Um, Insane Robots, Toy Story 3, two of the four free games on Xbox One. You have to have Xbox Live Gold. Uh, what else is there? I swear I just seen the other ones. Oh, Jurassic World Evolution, Castlevania Mirror of Fate HD, December 16th. Um, and then December 31st will return to their regular price. So there you go. There are the four free games. And check them out. So Minecraft crossplay. Uh, we did a poll on what people wanted to see being streamed in the group. And Minecraft was one of them. Uh, what was the top one? Uh, magic? No, it wasn't Magic. What the fuck was the top? Was it Minecraft? What? In that poll. I don't uh Red Dead. Oh, Red Dead was up there. And then... GTA. Yep. A couple people said Fortnite. We're still letting that poll go for the rest of the week, though, so we know. I'll, I'll go look I'll go look at the we as need of. need to reshare it. I'll then, go look at the as of. So we'll be streaming more games directly live to Facebook and Twitch. Uh, we'll uh, still have it on YouTube. This will still be off all the uh, platforms, iHeartRadio, groups, stuff that like one. that, Apple, Spotify, see uh, all. YouTube. Pesky cat um, ENT at gmail.com. Wow, 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 wow. Our top game for streaming right now is Star Trek Online. Oh, that's right. GTA 5 is the next follow up. Uh, three people voted for more Magic Arena. Okay, so I'll give you the order top to bottom uh, and how many votes just so we can try and. Keep a running total. Make a note of well, this. Well, I'm going to share. I'm going to share the actual post okay. again so we get more votes. Uh, Star Trek Online saying. has six votes. Okay. So, GTA has four votes. <laughs> All right, uh, Magic Arena has three votes. Uh, Red Dead has two. Has three votes. Yeah, I'm about to get it more. Fortnite has three votes. Minecraft has two votes. Rocket League has one vote. Uh, but I added that, and it is me. Well, it's not me. It's uh, Dark Souls has a vote. World War Z has a vote. Battlefront has no... Two has no votes. Apex has no votes. Apex has no votes? Apex has no votes. That's surprising. All right, I reshared it. Um, so we'll get some people to see what they like there. I had two polls up. Oh, yeah. The other one was like, if you were into magic and you played, how many people play that are local to the area? Um, a couple of people said they never played. Um, so I should have just kept that one out and put, if they wanted to learn, they should have clicked it. <laughs> That's okay. So Star Trek, I have Star Trek online and I have a character. So that needs to be streamed. Um, so I guess we'll give the people what they want there. Um, if you haven't already, go like the page, The Open Mic Show, at The Open Mic Show Podcast on Facebook, ENT Cat on Twitter. Um, you can message us on both. And remember to book if you want to be on the show or call in through Skype on the Facebook page, PeskyCatENT at gmail.com. We don't have a phone number right now. Um, just Skype. Get with the times. Skype. All right, so um, email us anything you want to talk about or shout out. Uh, that's all I really got for tonight. That's all I have. I haven't hardly talked at all. I Prepare just... for more game streams coming up in the next week. Yup. Over the next week. Yup, yup, yup. We've um, been doing really good on Fortnite, so that's been the basis of it. We've done a lot of that. So if you don't like Fortnite, I would suggest waiting a few days and it'll be GTA or something. Some Star Trek. <clears throat> so, or be like, "Hey guys, what the hell? Can you play something else?" And we'll be like, "Hey, do we want to humor whoever's idea that is, and uh, go play something else?" And we'll vote on it, and then we'll decide if you're gonna ha- let it happen or not. <laughs> Alrighty. So until next time, this is Cash West at the Open Mic Show. Saying goodnight for Steve Star. We'll see you the next time. How do you get to say goodnight? I was Whoa. doing it. Come no, on, man. No. It was you, a perfect outro. Fuck you. You do not no. get to say goodnight for me. I do. No. I do. No. I did. You did not. Hurry he does not up. speak for me. I speak for the 
The trees. No, everybody knows you don't speak for me. I, I speak for the I, trees, I, bitch. I, no, 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 no. I want to make this very clear. Oh, you my God. you never seen a newscast me. where they're like, uh, I'm Tom Brokaw, and on behalf of this no. bitch beside me. No, they'll be, oh, well, <laughs> I wonder why that happens. Let's be 100% there. Anyways, oh, no. Shit. All right. It's, I'm Cash West. Have and a good I'm, night. And I'm Steve Starr. Y'all stay classy. Jesus. Okay, Ron Burgundy, you fucking rip off. Oh, you're right. I did. Damn. Now that's I want to redo I sp- it. That's why I No, redo it. it. We're doing it different. All right. Redo it. I'm Cash West. Have a good night. And I'm Steve Starr. Blessed dreams. <laughs> oh, my fucking. And that's what you're going Shoot on. Shoot me. Shoot me. <laughs>